Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to make some soap. And I have already set things up instead of the introduction. I'm going to show you what I'm doing as I go because this is going to be a bit involved with the colors. So, I have five batches here, five containers. Uh, one is going to be all white, which is titanium dioxide. And I should be able to just to stick blend that in because I'm using a well-behaving fragrance. And I'll get to that in just a little while. This is, each one of these has a mixture of colors. So the one is going to be Iris Purple from Nurture Soap. I'm going to put a half a teaspoon of that. And I'm going to put about an eighth of a teaspoon of titanium dioxide in there to lighten it up. Then there is just our white. The next color is going to be Nurture Soap's Orange Vibrance with about an eighth of a teaspoon of Brambleberry's Tangerine Wow. So, I'm going to put a full teaspoon of orange vibrance because it doesn't stay real vibrant in cold process. So there is a full teaspoon. And here is less than an eighth of a teaspoon of the Tangerine Wow to really make it bold a little more stable. Then the next color combo will be half a teaspoon of Flash Dance from Mad Micah's and half a teaspoon of Grape Ape from Mad Micah's. So let's get those in. probably out of the picture and I am sorry about that. I will get back in when I mix these so we can see them mixing up. And the final color is going to be a half a teaspoon of Mad Micah's Blue Tide and Mad Micah's Blue Shocker. And I'll talk to you all about this in just a minute when I came up with this because it's not my idea. Okay, so this may seem like a bit of an odd color palette, and it kind of is. And truth be known, Katie Carson from Royalty Soaps did this several years ago. I'm not doing her same design, but she had this color palette, and it seems kind of weird, especially the orange mixed with this. But it looked really good in her soap. I liked it. And I'm just going to mix these in and do a drop swirl. The fragrance is going to seem a bit odd. I'm using Crafter's Choice Champagne just because this is a bright, fruity, effervescent smelling and I know it behaves really well. I've used it. Really like it. So, let's get these stick blended. Lightest to darkest. The lightest being our white. Probably next is our orange. Next would be our blue. And 
finally our purple. And that looks pretty much like her color palette. And I am going to pour in this order. Oops, that goes there. So let me hand stir the fragrance in. I just want to hand stir this. There we go. And I can see that I'm regrettably going to have to hit that TD with a quick blast because I do see a little bit that didn't disperse like it usually does. Most of the time I can put it right in and don't have an issue. But it's got to hit it one more time. Just a quick one. Let's get this into the mold.
Okay. That is just like still water thin because of the fragrance. But I will let that sit for a while so it doesn't slosh around. I'm going to oven process it and I'll see you tomorrow for the cut. Bye everybody. Okay, we're back to cut our soap, so let's take a look. I went ahead and split the log of the slab. So there are our colors, and I do like that color combination. It doesn't really look like the orange should be part of it, but it looks good. So let's see what our bars look like. It was a little thinner than I like when I poured it, but that fragrance just behaved so incredibly well. Was quite thin. Wow, this bar is really hard now. That oven process really, really speeds it up. Yep, that's pretty much what I was expecting. I'd like for that purple to have been a little darker. I should have just left the TD out. But the colors are well defined. Nothing seems to be blended together too much. And let's check out this other log and see what it looks like. So there we have it. So overall, I'm pretty pleased with these. And that's what I have for this week. As always, thanks for watching, everybody. You all stay safe, take good care of yourselves, and be blessed. And I will see you next week. Bye, everybody.